सो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल गोविंद नारायण पुरोहित वेयर एन वी आर डिस्कसिंग द वेरियस टॉपिक्स ऑफ थीरियोजिनोलॉजी एंड आई विश टू एक्सटेंड माय सिंसियर थैंक्स टू ऑल दोज हु आर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू माय चैनल इफ यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल काइंडली डू सब्सक्राइब टू इट सो दैट यू रिसीव आर वीडियोज वेरी फास्ट एंड फ्रेंड्स इन आवर टू डेज टॉपिक वी कंटिन्यू विद द इनफर्टिलिटी इन द मेल डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स and we talk something about impotentia gendarmi in our today's lecture friends impotentia gendarmi uh, has been divided into two types that associated with apparently abnormal semen production and that associated with normal semen production the uh, that uh, impotentia gendarmi associated with abnormal semen production uh, relates to pathologies and that associated with normal semen pro production could be because of inherited causes or infectious diseases now in our today's talk we talk something about the impotentia gendarmi associated with apparently normal semen the infectious causes inherited sperm defects and chromosomal ab uh, ab aberrations uh, they uh, convert the normal semen into uh, abnormal one and cause failure of fertilization and early embryonic deaths the causes uh, could be infectious disease such as ibr fmd bvd brucellosis tuberella pyogenes campylobacteriosis leptospirosis chlamydiosis mycobacterium trichomonas and mycoplasmosis then there could be inherited sperm defects such as the knob dacrosome dac defect diadem defect pseudo droplet defect and the tail stump the chromosomal ab ab aberrations or abnormalities include the xo syndrome triple x syndrome xx oblique xy chimerism gonadal dysgenesis and sex reversal syndrome infectious diseases such as ibr have effects on the semen and result into orchitis azoospermia and pustular balanopostitis diseases like fmd result into both semen and uh, effects on both semen and cryopreserved semen they affect the sperm motility and increase the sperm abnormalities the bvd virus can result into both uh, problems in both semen and cryopreserved semen but it may or may not affect the sperm quality leptospirosis can result into problems in the fresh semen or in the frozen semen because of inflammation of the accessory sex glands trichomoniasis may result and uh, is a venereal disease with no symptoms in the bull which becomes a lifelong carrier campylobacteriosis there is venereal transmission and uh, this disease have been controlled wherever ai is the only means of breeding because uh, antibiotics are added in the semen which usually kill the campylobacteria brucellosis may result uh, into high risk natural mating and may result in orchitis or epididymitis seminal vesiculitis lesions in the bull and affecting the semen quality arcanobacteria may affect the uh, semen or the prepucial uh, mucosa and may result into vesiculitis but they are sensitive to penicillin then diseases like mycobacterium bovis may result into scrotal uh, asymmetry reduce motility and volume of the semen and is transmitted through semen uh, for prevention of infectious disease the article 3.2 of office international the epizootis says that bull should be free of brucellosis tuberculosis para tuberculosis bovine virus diarrhea ibr etc and bull should be quarantined for 28 days and it should be tested for all these diseases before it is used for semen collection and uh, semen evaluation should be done annually for brucellosis bvd ibr trichomoniasis etc now we talk of the inherited sperm defects which may result into infertility or impotentia gendarmi the knob dacrosome Uh, the sperm will have anteriorly placed thickening of acrosome sperms have normal motility and concentration but sperms cannot penetrate the ova then the dag defect 
In this, the spermatozoa will have strongly coiled tails, folded or disrupted or split tails, and sperms are immotile. Then the third one is diadem defect. In this, red color spots located along the nuclear ring, just like a row of pearl or necklace of, or diadem. This is an inherited sperm defect with the version of Galea capitis and pouch shaped depression in, in the nucleus. This picture show uh, the uh, DAG defect with uh, coiled midpiece and tails. This is a normal sperm. This is a sperm with diadem sperm defect and this is pouch formation. Then there is the corkscrew defect. The midpiece of the affected sperm looks like a corkscrew. Then pseudo droplet, center of the midpiece and appears as rounded or elongated or uh, irregularly thickened mass. Then tail stump or split tails. Uh, this is also another defect and this sperm will have, we cannot fertilize an ova. So friends, this is all about Impotentia gerundii. The first part and the second part we will be discussing in our next lecture. You can contact me at my email gnpobs at the rate gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel link. This is my LinkedIn link. Uh, kindly listen to the lectures completely. Give your suggestions, comments uh, and uh, share and subscribe to the uh, channel Govind Narayan Purohit if you like the videos. Thank you. Thank you so much.